but there's a great libertarian concept, which is like Zeta males, which is like, they want, or they want absolutely nothing to do with anyone else. And so that's where you want to be. It's like, you don't want to have, you don't want other people to have power over you, but you don't also, you also don't want to have power over anyone else. Uh. Right. Like that's how you get free. You just disconnect. It's like all these fucking, and that's the problem with all these fucking quote unquote liberation movements. And, oh, we need to free people and make things more fair and all of that. Like all of that is the fucking will to power. It's, it's a will to power that must express itself in a, in a false way of like, oh, like, you know, like, oh yeah, we want to like get control to make everything more fair and all of this is like, no, you just want power. Right. So why don't you just be honest about it? Right. So, so, you know, in order to become free, you have to give up your, your dominator impulse. You have to give up your, your need to control other people. That includes what they think, you know, like, uh, um, or, you know, you can't just be, not, you can't just give a fuck of, about what other people think of you. Like you can't, like you, you, you have to disentangle yourself. And that means not becoming part of their power webs not becoming part of their hierarchies or trying to get status in them. It's like the, right. the, great, the great Buddha, Marilyn Manson always pointed out, uh, he had a line, which is like this, this, you know, slave never wants to be free. Slave only wants to be King. And that's why you stay controlled. Wow. So I think that one of the most beautiful things about America and about Americans is, or anybody, but one thing that, that Americans in, when at their best personify, and there's is often, we're often not at their, not at our best. One of the great things about America is the, the, the pioneer self-sufficient spirit of like, yeah. like, for instance, you and I were able to just go like Oregon trail mode and just be like, fuck it. Like, you yeah. know, people used to go to the West Coast. Now we're going east, yeah. you know, but it's like, but you can fly, you know, so it's like you don't have to do that Oregon trail thing of like everyone died of dysentery yeah. along the way. So but I, I know but, what you mean, though. It's like it's a, to me, it, it feel it's a very American thing. To just be like, you know what? I'm gonna pack up and go. To just go, not stay at a place because you're there. Like we're that—that that is freedom to me. But you, the freedom you're talking about is much deeper. Go ahead. I'm sorry for cutting you off. Well, no, it's exactly that. But but not just, you know, it's not just to relocate. It's to relocate to and and create a new life for yourself. Also, right? to do that subjectively too. You know what I mean? It's like what you're talking about to me is the identical thing. Uh, except it's not uh, it's an internal geography it's like when you start realizing that you're wound up in some internal power web or your brain has been invaded by memes of P you know what i mean when you like just the, to me just simple things like when, whenever i start noticing the way i am sitting or you know what i mean simple things like that like looking at like how like when i the my friend calls it the underdog cringe. You know, that thing <laughs> you like, you're carrying. Fucking beta meal. <laughs> yeah, beta, yeah. It's a beta, beta. But that, that, uh, that, that thing where you're like, you're still acting like your bully from high school is like chasing you down the hall or something. Right. You know? And it's like, it's long gone. Um, oh, that's such a good point. That's a really good point. I think because, because, well, if I was to like, first of all, it's just succinctly summarize what we've both been talking about it's like well you know i my advice is you know like like power right it's like it's like free yourself externally and free yourself internally and the internal free that you know what i offer for internal freedom is all of the spiritual techniques meditation or it doesn't have to be mine you know i give tons of great ones at magic.me but whatever works for you because everyone's different in that regard free your mind internally but also free yourself externally and that means being self-sufficient and disentangling yourself from power networks by being able to provide for your own needs and and those of others and um but do both as above so below free yourself externally free yourself internally because otherwise you're going to get caught in the tide of history and that is where no one wants to be you know be practical you know because because the, what you were saying about christianity one of the problems with traditional religion or let me just put it this way not the problems but where where i think magic whatever that word means whatever practical spirituality where it, it, it separates itself from religion is it's do it yourself it is diy rather than religion which is yeah. oh oh great savior in the sky please work it out for me yeah right well 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 that being can it, it, it may or may not uh, you know, maybe that's not the right approach, you know, don't confuse the planes, you know, you've got a body, why don't you do it? Right. So I think that, um, don't confuse the planes. That's so cool.
Right. It's like, well, we leave the spiritual world. The spiritual world is the spiritual world, but the spiritual world interacts with the world of matter by using tools of matter, primarily your being. But yeah. I, I think the, the point that you put about the body is so apt. There's another incredible quote in that, um, because the body is the source of liberation. Uh, Nietzsche said, there's more wisdom contained in the body than in any infinite library of books in ancient wisdom. And it's totally true. Yeah. And you don't even, any yoga teacher will tell you that, right? This is not like secret shit. Yeah. But dudes who get wrapped up in fucking occult books always forget this, right? You got to get back to the body. So, but your point, there's another great quote in that in 1984 where Orwell says, you know, it's, he, when you're in times of totalitarianism and political control, it is always experienced through the nexus of the body, right? It's not just like everything else in life. Yeah. You know, you're not experiencing these big movements of political shifts in economic and warfare. What you're experiencing is a toothache that you can't treat. You're experiencing the feeling of the hunched over that you're talking about because you're yeah. afraid. Uh, you're experiencing that you're cold, that you don't have enough to eat, enough to eat 